Hi everybody, and welcome to Traveling with Russell, and welcome to a new video. Welcome to Moscow region. Now, I've come to show you one of Russia's low-cost supermarkets, or hard discount supermarket. It's called Svetofor. Now, in English, that means traffic light. So we're gonna find some green pricing. Let's go check it out together, shall we? I'm actually in a regional shopping center around about 30 kilometers from Moscow. I'm actually in Moscow region. And this shopping center originally had a very big hypermarket. And if you count the two doors that are closed here, this entire space all the way down as far as you can see was one hypermarket. And they've now closed and left Russia. It was actually a Russian branded hypermarket that essentially just wasn't doing great. And they've actually separated what was one store now into three different ones. And the one we want to come and see is right in front of me here, Traffic Light. Has anybody heard of this brand before? Let me know. The shops actually open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So that's why perhaps while I'm walking around now, it won't look very busy. This is the middle of the afternoon on a Monday. I've actually come to this shopping center to film a very unique shop, which might be on the video channel already before or after this one. There's a Ikea replacement store that's opened in this shopping center. And that's what I came to look at. But I thought, seeing that I found Svet the Four, I've got to make a video. These lockers are very typical in Russia in all shops. You can put your bag in there. You don't have to carry anything around with you then. They've actually even got their own shopping trolleys. Imagine for a low budget supermarket, they've got their own shopping trolleys. Now, I think most people don't worry about them too much in this store. Well, people just go for a walk around themselves. I haven't been to this shop at all before walking in. So I'm kind of looking around myself I think I actually came in the wrong side, walking in. Now this is very much a warehouse type supermarket that has a couple of random things in the front here. Get a snow shovel, you can get some new wine glasses, or maybe you want a chair. You decide. So the idea and concept of this store is it's all products that are in boxes or packaging. You'll see here, up the top, they've got everything just in racks. So all of the overstock and then everything else is just boxes that have been cut open and the sign put on the front of them. And that's basically it. And then you've just got to figure out which one links up with which. And this is as simple as it comes. Now this isn't in any way a bulk type supermarket. This is a normal retail supermarket. There's no membership to come in here. This is the walk-in supermarket that you'd come shopping in. There's nothing in different sizes or different types or shapes. It's just things <laughs> all mixed around. Of course, in winter, you always need a brush and scraper for your car. And right next to it, a very big super pot. And we're gonna walk on past a couple of people here, having a look at things. And you'll see how much the shop opens up. So this was a very big hypermarket, this location where we're standing here. And they've managed to partition it off into separate businesses and found new companies to take over this space. Maybe you need a throw rug, only $3. Now I like to use 100 rubles to $1 US as a conversion. It's a little bit less than that right now, but it's only a few cents different from 100. I think it's about 93 today. Maybe the absolute classic Russian toilet paper. This is basically paper. <laughs> you don't really want to buy this. Even in a budget supermarket, buy something at least with a brand on it and you'll be much happier. I wonder if we can do this in one take as I walk around. The one thing I found with Svetofor, I've been to other locations before, 
is you just don't know what you're looking at or what you're looking for when you come in here because there's a little bit of organization but otherwise everything is stacked up everywhere and they block the aisle so you can't get through one part and then you're wondering where to walk bit of cat litter right here and right next to me some 50 ruble cookies yes please who likes cookies let me know in the comments and more candy and biscuits off in the distance the one thing with Svetofor is the bad organization I guess there is a bit of a rhyme and reason to it but for me I just be tearing my hair out with how they've left the shop like when I'm walking in there where they've got a few things blocking the aisle they're not helping themselves to make money if people can't get down the aisle to shop and it just takes a few more minutes to put things in the right place and everything would be just that little bit better organized what are these they look like a bit of a Twix replacement I wonder $1.30 for a pack of eight of them and even at that price if you didn't like them it's quite reasonable the one thing you won't find in most of these warehouse supermarkets in Russia is you're not going to find uh, groceries like uh, fruits and vegetables because the idea with this sort of store is to have long life products that can stay on the pallets can stay in boxes and not have a much of a turnover now they do have a refrigerator area here with a few items but literally it's just mushrooms and I think that might be about it and otherwise in the cool room here it's all of the very typical Russian refrigerated items that whole back wall is different types of salamis and cured meats and then over here lots of choices of yogurts again they've just got these very simple prices on everything so you'll see 50 rubles 60 rubles the butter over here for 110 rubles for a half kilo block of butter and then entire pallet or two pallets of mayonnaise for just about a dollar for a big dollop of mayonnaise 800 grams and they come in these squeezy containers that's the normal way that they have them in Russia in these pouches and I think just makes them more economical at the same time looks like they've got some milk right in the front a little bit of seafood and this is how you keep refrigerated goods cheap just have a walk-in cooler and that's all you need and then as they come out of the fridge you basically just walk right into more pallets of different grocery and food items big pallet of pasta the only thing that bothers me in these types of stores is where they don't have a sign on something and I think that should be the number one rule of their uh, shop is make sure there's a sign on everything they sell that should be a given you can get a glass jar of corn 90 rubles and then it becomes a bit narrow through here then so if you're trying to shop with some kind of a basket it might be a little bit awkward plenty of things I think the one thing that might be interesting I guess we're watching this now quite a bit further into the video is how many things are under a hundred rubles which would be equivalent of one dollar and you know how many different types of products you can get at a reduced or low price and what we considered inexpensive giant jar of pickles that's a big jar 265 rubles for a mammoth amount of pickles or do you call them gherkins depending on where everybody is in the world let me know what you call them these uh, vegetables that are kept in vinegar 
some interesting soda right here. So I thought it said Sprite, but it says Sprite Up. So who's who? Is it 7-Up or is it Sprite? Somebody in Russia is getting very creative with the branding. We've pretty much done the whole walk around of the shop. This is somewhere that I don't come to too often. We don't have one of these in the area where I live. So I've maybe been to this chain of stores maybe three or four times and that's it. I've pretty much only turned up to make videos because it's not in the area where I live so it's not convenient to come to it because it's about an hour away from where I live. And if you lived in this immediate area, beautiful. You just walk right in. What's this stuff? Toro Power. Is it a giant energy drink? I think so. And we've got some very generic cola here for 50 cents a bottle. And there's the orange version as well. And then we come around to the very basic wine selection. Wines, some vodka, some Armagnac, and then there's a random pallet of beer right at the end. So if you like beer, you've got one to choose from. But the 450 milliliter bottle is 45 cents a bottle for beer. You get two bottles of beer for under a dollar. How is that for good value? Maybe this might be different here in this particular store versus others in Russia or even around the world. There's no candy bars at the register. There's no chewing gum or, uh, you know, impulse buy items. What they do have though, is they've got Russian ice cream right here and 28 or 27 rubles for an ice cream. That's not too bad. Three ice creams for a dollar. You can keep all of the family happy in one go. And there's even some other types over here as well. well what do you think, everybody? Would you rather see ice creams at the register rather than chocolate bars? As I walk on out of Svetofor, or as I know it, traffic light, I really hope you found this video interesting and something a little bit different from the more mainstream supermarkets this is considered a low cost supermarket, a budget supermarket. Some people even like to say it's a poor supermarket. Now I don't judge anybody. I uh, take everybody on face value who I meet, how much they earn, how much they spend. That has no concern for me. So where everybody chooses to shop, each to their own. You know, not everybody likes this type of budget supermarket. Some people like you know, the fancier looking Globus hypermarket, but does it really concern you as a shopper, you know, where you walk into and buy things, if it's good value, if it's a good quality? I think that's probably just as important as beautiful looking shops and nice displays. You know, I don't want to call that a poor supermarket, although I've seen it done on YouTube before. It's really not necessary. It's a warehouse style supermarket and that's about it. I'm just trying to find my way up the travel aid to head on out. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed it. Post a comment, let me know what you think. If you're not part of the channel and you'd like to click subscribe, you're more than welcome to. If you want to follow me on Telegram, my link to my Telegram channel is right here. And then after you post a comment, it'll take you over to the Telegram chat. Lots of people active always in that. If you want to see an old video from the channel, I'm pointing to it right now. You can check that out right after this. As I come back up to the street level, I'm off on another adventure. Bye everybody.